Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you a really cool build that I've made for a while now. And if you really like this video, make sure to comment, like, and Tim subscribe. Comment your favorite thing about this build or comment your favorite Pokemon. Anyway, let's get right into it. So this build I made quite a while ago and I'm just re-showcasing it off because I think it's kind of neat. And overall, I think it's a really calm and build that I gently improved over the years. Overall, nothing much has changed. I've added a few more trees and it's overall a nicer place to feel. If you go over here, there's actually a portal and a cave. These vines are used to simulate uh, vines and it even has a little bit of flowers, um, which does actually bring a lot of life to it. If you look about, if you look around back here, you can see that it's, it has exposed cave surfaces and other such things. You even have a small tree, kind of like Minecraft if you play. If we follow further down the path, you see those rocks are sparse, and we even have a little Christmas tree if you celebrate. I made this Christmas tree during the time where it was Christmas, and there was a lot of celebrations going around. None of the items I used were signs as the presents for that were red, and just regular blocks for the green ones. All of these little Christmas things are stars, but they're balloons so they'll float up eventually, and it doesn't do much other than that. I actually had a plan of placing a really big balloon here once we set sail, because if you've watched this channel for a while, you may know that I actually love sending my things to space. So we're going to set this right here, and you know, we'll start that once it starts. And if we enter in here, we'll see it's a cozy little area with a few plushies and a Christmas tree inside. We even have some of the turbines that help you steer your boat along with the table filled with candy, and even a potted plant. This is about it for this little area, and I think it's kind of cute. There's something around the back, I remember wrong. Um, but I think it's just windows and everything. Um, so it's overall just a calm, collected area. I'm surprised the balloons are still lit. If you travel back here, you might actually notice that there's another building. This one is a little secretive because you don't really see it much, but it does have entrance in here. It has a dead plant, one piece of bread, and some presents. It even has a little bedside table. Now, if we look into the ocean, it's kind of daunting. But keep in mind, everything is connected by this panel. If we travel over here, we can see the ruins of another building with another portal, which you might have guessed leads to the portal over there. If we go through it, we'll see that we get teleported there. So it's kind of just a fun little connection between the two. That can be really interesting. Interesting if you want to have fun. Overall, you can play hide and seeks here and have fun with your friends. So if you really want to play on this, make sure to comment and I might host an open world. But with that being said, I think it's about time we start this. So I'm going to launch my boat and we're going to see how far this can go. Oh, wow, I'm a little bit stuck. Maybe, the oh God, that's really big. Maybe that'll help, oh. Okay, that didn't work as expected. Oh, I'm back on. Oh, I'm back off. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Huh. All right, I'm going to try to catch up and hopefully we can get there. I'm going to get myself an everything candy and a jetpack. As you may know, this jetpack lasts forever, so I don't have to worry about anything happening to it. And the balloon is slowly rising, so I don't know if it's going to actually pull at all. It seems pretty heavy, but who knows? I've seen stranger things happen. Oh! It appears that it is lifting it ever so slightly up above the ground. It would also appear that I have no sort of chair situation. So I have no way to sit. I'm gonna pop that. Let's see if we can get back on the road. So for the most part, everything is stays intact. It's a little finicky for now. If you notice this grass is extremely thin. So if anything really hits it, it will break. Um, so there's nothing kind of holding it together. As you can see, even with that one hit of damage, brings it even closer to the tree. 
Okay, now we're going through the first stage. This one, a relatively tame one. Just a bit of foliage. So nothing crazy. But it does appear we're taking pretty heavy damage, on the front side at least. Now, I don't know where it's breaking. Uh, and how it's getting shorter, but I'm curious to see where at what points it is breaking at. Because it's, it, I don't know which side it goes smaller from. Hey, now we're on the mushroom area. This is a new stage, um, so nothing crazy here again. It's just another stage of just random blocks that are placed. Um, they do have these little nice houses, which are cool, so I guess it's kind of fun. I think I might stand on this tree so I don't take damage as much. Because I have been taking quite a bit of damage, if you've noticed. Um, so we're going to hope to avoid that. Um, I think I might stand inside the house, given how nicely furnished it is. Um, but overall, I, I should be relatively safe, for this point at least. Uh, who's to say what the next one is, though? Oh, it's the arcade one. Uh, the arcade one doesn't have much. Uh, it's just kind of fun. It's really pretty, at least. We have Whack-A-Mole over there. <laughs> E-Ball. Zag-Ball. Oh, wait, I don't, I don't remember going to the arcade for that. Oh! Oh, okay, wait. Base Invaders are... So I didn't realize this until recently. This is what's been falling off all the time. And it seems like it's all floating now. And the ground is permanently red. Possibly from this stage? I don't know if that's from this stage. I haven't played this, at least right now. Uh-oh. Oh, this is the one with the train. Okay. Doesn't seem like we're going to be hit by the train, which is good. Uh, because I don't think we could, uh, we could take that. Just make sure to comment your favorite stage in Bell for Treasure, because I know I have mine, which is the paint stage. Uh, and you might know why, but if you don't, the paint stage is actually the stage that I helped on, uh, and I actually directly inspired it. Now, albeit Chill Thrill made it look nice, because I, uh, <laughs> I don't have that artistic ability. Oh, well, I didn't at the time. It seems like these band hammers are really launching us. Um... It seems like Zeg is the one that's launching at him. So, I don't know, I don't have to speak with Zeg about that one. <laughs> oh, and the front side is also kind of heavily damaged. As you can see, the house is just floating there now. I don't know how much longer we're going to have uh, the grass to stand on. It appears that everything else is still floating, so we should be fine. I don't think, I think it's only until all of the grass is gone that it will stop floating. All right, and now we're on the swamp and bomb stage, which is kind of scary, not gonna lie. I'm gonna stay inside my house now, given that the grass is now almost completely gone. And this is my only source of staying safe. Um, there is, again, no seats. I wanted this to be as hard as possible, but as fair as possible. And we always have our emergency out, uh, which is the balloons. Oh, and it finally disconnected. We have no more grass. Everything is separated from itself now. Uh, which means that we are at the mercy of the ocean. And these guys throwing stuff at us. Fun fact, if you go into one of them, I think there is a plushie in them. Ooh, this one's a hard one. All right, so now we are at the cannon fire stage. And unfortunately, they're aiming towards me because I am the one who... Uh, is sailing this ship, and they have no friendly manner to us. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did not see I was actually sliding out. Seems like the other house is taking even more damage. Our house is looking relatively okay, and has only suffered some minor damages. Okay, well, that's a little bit more damaged. <laughs> All right, we're on the uh, retro themed level. Uh, this one's cool, nothing crazy. It kind of just outlines blocks. Um, so if you like that, I always thought this was a cool stage. Um, I 
and just looking at the stats, the pathway is still okay, the secret tunnel is still okay, the other house isn't doing so hot, and this house is okay. And it appears we are on the lighthouse stage, which is infamous for being extremely taxing on your uh, boat, given how many, how big these are. Now, I don't think there's anything really special about this stage, more or less just it's pretty damaging. And I think if I don't get inside, I think I won't have a chance to actually fall down the waterfall because that's a pretty big fall. I'm going to see if I can get back in. All right, I don't like my chances with that, but I'll try again. Hey, I got in. Okay, so uh, I'm going to slowly start healing again, but it appears like we are not in the best of places. Um, but luckily, this is the last stage, so we should be okay. We just have to make it a few more blocks. And now our house is taking heavy damage, so it's not looking too, too good for us. But again, all we have to do now is survive the final fall. See that the cave over there took quite a lot of damage by the end of this. The secondary house also did as well. But overall, my house is looking pretty well. I would rate it around a 2 out of 10, because... Um, it has a lot of holes, but it still is here. So, yeah, that that the other one is kind of a zero out of ten. Um, that thing didn't survive at all. Um, but this is how durable my little village is. So if you ever want to visit, just comment in the comments section if you want to see this in person. And now what I could do is send this off, oh, or not. I could just walk away. I have a perfectly okay time. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed. This is a lot of fun to make, and I love revisiting old builds I make. Now, we're going to collect this gold. If you really want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I've said it before, but have an amazing day. I hope to see you in the next one. And see we got our gold. Hey, there we go. We got our gold. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay happy. Ciao.